This is a circuit of the induction vibrator system used for starting ignition systems on magnetos. We're going to just have a brief overview of the system. So let's start with identifying some components first. First of all, we have to have a battery for this system to work. We need electricity, unlike the impulse coupling, which is a mechanical device. You'll notice there are two solenoids in the system. One is the battery contactor, one's the starter contactor. These will both have to be activated in order for this system to work. At the top you see the right magneto. In this circuit the right magneto is used for starting, not the left as is usually the case. And then in the middle we have the inductor vibrator box itself. On the lower right you'll see the ignition switch. First we're going to look at the circuit when the magnetos are off. So if you try to start the engine and use the starter ignition system, use the inductor vibrator, when the mags are off this is what would happen. You would have some current uh, that would come from the battery and it would go through the inductor vibrator and we'll look at that box more closely in a second but it would simply come out uh, to the ignition switch and that switch would be closed to ground and of course that is uh, going to direct that current to ground. Next we'll look at the system in the start position. Again we have current coming from the battery and into the inductor vibrator and now at this point uh, the current does split so you can see that to the left it goes through this normally open relay to ground. Uh, this relay, this coil, as soon as there's current through it, it pulls down on this relay arm and you can see the arrow there pointing at the contact points so it will actually pull that arm down and connect the points so it is a relay. So there the arrow is showing, showing that the contact points are closed. Now current goes the other direction through the vibrator coil, through the points, through our retard points to ground. Now when we say that this is a vibrator, we just mean it is also a relay. So as soon as there's current going through that coil, it is pulling on the points. Again, the springs indicate in which position these points are normally found. So the normally open relay, of course, the points are normally open. And the vibrator, the points are normally spring-loaded closed. And so current will go through the points and find the path of least resistance through the retard breakers to ground. Now we just want to clean the circuit off so we can talk about the vibrator coil itself. As soon as the current starts going through it, a magnetic field builds which now pulls the arm of the relay down. And so we no longer have a point of contact there which stops the current. When the current stops, the points don't have anything pulling them open and so the points actually close again, which as you can imagine now allows current to flow through the coil one more time, which goes to ground, which builds a magnetic field and pulls the points open. So you can see this process goes back and forth and this will create what we call pulsating DC or interrupted battery current. And we can symbolize that with a dashed blue line. So this is our pulsating DC and we are simulating right now that the retard points are closed even though they're pictured open. And so as long as they're closed, um, the pulsating DC will go to ground. Those points remain closed until the respective cylinder is at top dead center. Remember, we don't want to start, provide the spark before top dead center, such as 20 to 25 degrees before top dead center, as we normally would for normal operating conditions. But we want to delay the spark for starting, otherwise we can get kickback. And so the retard points let the current go to ground until we're about at top dead center.
Once those points open at around top dead center just after, now that pulsating DC goes through the primary coil, and this is a transformer so we know what's going to happen. We will now have pulsating DC coming out the secondary, which will step up the voltage and give us many sparks in our uh, cylinder. So just as an overview, the, the big idea is that this vibrator coil provides pulsating DC because these points are rapidly opening and closing. This provides pulsating DC to the primary circuit inside the coil, which then of course gives us pulsating DC into the cylinder. This will provide us the hot, delayed, or hot retarded spark that we need for ignition for starting a cold cylinder.